So, another PlayStation fanboy has come to the table. Let's, uh, let's see how they do. Hit it late with a bitch from the bayou. Mm, make sure the pussy ball no Caillou. Mm, Hadouki, yo, what's like I'm Ryu? Mm, I'll splash on your what's like I'm I am Mighty Key! <sighs> I guess this is it. This is the day Sony releases their PS5. Strategically two days after Xbox launches their system. Yes, clearly a very strategic move to sell your product two days after the competition comes out. 10 out of 10 business move there, that's real stonks. But in all seriousness, I don't know why he said this, as if it's some, like, fucking grand strategy. I'm pretty sure, like, that's how all release things work. Like, one releases before the other. That's not really strategic. That's like, that's like me saying Borderlands 3 strategically came out after Warframe to steal the competition. Fuck, fucking what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. This shit's fucking stupid. There's no point pointing that out. That's like, it's like fucking... It's like Halo 5 came out after Halo 4. Strategic competition right there. That's strategically planned that out, didn't they? Because Sony is a bunch of dicks. Bro, my PS5's coming in today. Oh, I can't wait. Hey, that's awesome, man. But I've actually had the next-gen console for the past two days. what games? With what games, he asked? With what games? I don't know. The games he already fucking owns. Like, the, the big thing, so the big thing with this video is it's making fun of the fact that Xbox does not have any games. Which is true. However, as someone that does not like exclusives, I could give a fuck. I could give less of a shit. All the PlayStation exclusives are coming to PC eventually anyway, so who fucking cares? Honestly. Exclusives are not that big of a deal. I know that it's like, oh, they're the console seller, but they're really nothing- they're not really for Xbox anymore. No, not really. All Microsoft- all Xbox exclusive games, they've already said are coming to PC. Steam and shit. So, really, we don't need to care. <laughs> Like, the selling point of the ex the new Xbox isn't the exclusive games, it would be the power of the console, and also cross-play, so, you know, you can play with friends, you know, and so if you don't want to build a gaming PC, you can just buy an Xbox, cross-play with your friends on PC if they've got a PC, all's good in the world. There's Game Pass too, I guess. Not having exclusives isn't a bad thing. I'm probably going to reiterate this several times in this video, because this guy's a fucking idiot. And there it is, the dreaded what games point in the argument. I've had to deal with this for years. Look at the fucking look he's giving him, like, ugh, my friend plays Xbox, what games? Like, look at that face, just look at that. Look, the utter look of disgust and disdain in his eyes towards Xbox players. Jesus, it's amazing, like, the level these console fanboys are willing to go to to talk shit about the other console, even though the other console is just as shit, uh, and PC is better than all of them, hence why us master racers tend to hang above them. <laughs> God, that makes me sound like a pretentious asshole. And honestly, I'm not sure how to recover. I need some sort of distraction. Hey look, a cow! Hey look, a piece of shit with no games. This is the core of every single PlayStation fanboy, this is the core of their argument at the moment, is Look! It ain't got no games! It ain't got no games! I'm sorry to say, the Xbox is better. From a statistical standpoint, it is more powerful. Uh, from a, like, from how it looks, it's smaller, it takes up less space, and it's prettier looking. You can't get a black PS5. The PS5 looks like shit. It looks like some kind of fucking giant ass cheap piece of shit router. It looks terrible. Whereas the fucking, at least the Xbox looks good. Like it's not that big. It's quite small actually. It's like a baby. Uh, you know, you can hold it in your hand, you can nestle it. Like the PS5 looks like shit. I'm sorry, it just looks like shit. The plastic finish on it, it's not like, it's not like, uh, like matte, a matte finish or whatever. It's just, Plastic, you, you smudges and shit on it. It looks fucking nasty. I'm like, I'm sorry. Oh, it's a piece of shit with no games. So what? At least it looks good and doesn't take up half the fucking room. Damn, that didn't work. It never does. In the past two days, I've been playing next gen games in 4K at 60 FPS. Games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Yakuza, like a. So it's come to this. 
me getting hit in the head with PS5 cases. So the point he just made about playing next-gen games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla is actually completely valid because those aren't next-gen games. Uh, it even says like on the packaging and you know, in the game that it's optimized for the new generation of consoles. You can play it on the older generation, but it's recommended for the newer generation. And the PlayStation fanboy's response is to throw a copy of Spider-Man Miles Morales at him, which, by the way, uh, was basically just a rehash of the original game. Like, basically nothing new other than Miles Morales and a couple, like, a new storyline, a small no new storyline. Uh, from what I've heard, I haven't played it, uh, and I refuse to, because I'm not buying a fucking PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X. I'm not buying either of this shit yet. Because uh, why the fuck would I? I'm just waiting for them to come out of PC. I know they will eventually. They they always do. I'm just waiting. He doubled down on his exclusives argument. I can feel myself losing confidence. I can hear web swinging in my head. I'm terrified. Listen, Miles Morales is a seven hour game. Y'all paid $70 for just a seven hour game. Are you fucking showing what I think you're showing? Are you fucking showing me Demon Souls Remastered right now and claiming that to be a fucking bastion of why the PS5 is so great? That is the opposite. That is the fucking opposite of why the PS5 is great. That is why the PS5 and Sony are a bunch of fucking money grubbing assholes. That game should not be a PlayStation exclusive. That shit should be on PC. Like, I've. I like Dark Souls quite a bit. And when I heard the Demon Souls was getting remastered, I was all excited, I was all giddy. And then when I heard it was a PS5 exclusive, I immediately shit bricks in rage. You are showing me a game that I want, that is a PS5 exclusive, which- Exclusives, again, I hate them, they're fucking stupid. And you are using that to justify your purchase of a PS5, rather than an Xbox. Go fuck yourself, good sir. Go fuck yourself. Also, the point that the, the Xbox boy, the, the fake Xbox straw man made about spending $70 on a 7 hour game, completely true. <laughs> you fucking idiots. It, it, it's a short fucking game. I just looked it up. I, 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 like, I just looked up some reviews of it and that's like the biggest complaint. It's how short. It's like not a game basically. It's like a mini game. Jesus Christ. Forza will be out soon, and it's gonna shut all this hype down. Forza? You're a grown-ass man. Just go out and drive a car. Spider-Man, why did you- you're a grown-ass man. Why don't you just jump off a building? Fucking dick. Okay, but for real though, while I don't like Forza, I'm not particularly into racing games, uh, or like FIFA and shit like that, you know, games like that, I see the appeal in playing them. That is not not- literally just saying, Forza? You're a grown ass man. Go out and drive a real car. It's it's like me it's like me watching someone play FIFA and going, "You got legs? Go play football outside." It's like I they don't want to. They're playing a video game. Fuck off. Oh, this got this fucking skit is like nostalgia critic quality, except for it lacks the charm of nostalgia critic cuz we got this stupid cunt instead. I miss Doug. See, you always think you got the answer for everything, but surprise, I'm behind on my payments. They repoed my car. Damn. Being a broke-ass nigga didn't help my case. I gotta remember that. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. That actually made me chuckle. That's pretty funny, actually. I like that. I, li I like that. Being a broke-ass nigga. Oh, that's fine. That's great. I like I Good job. Good job, that was, that was funny. Well done. I'm proud of you. Time and time again, UPS fanboys use that same old tired joke. And time and time again, UPS fanboys settle for inferior hardware. Normally, I'd agree with the inferior hardware, but the, PS, the base PS4 was miles better than the base Xbox One. However, I do believe that when the Xbox One S came around versus the PS4 Slim, I think the S was slightly better, and then when the X and Pro came out, the X was on top, and now the newer generations have come out, and the the Series X is better than the PS5, at least on paper. I'm not sure about performance and stuff, I haven't watched any of those, like, test videos, frame rate analysis and shit, uh, but on paper, the Xbox is a better console in terms of just pure specs, uh, so, eh, got a point there.
and also I think the PlayStation 5 is more expensive, but I'm, I'm going to have to check because uh, I'm a fucking idiot, so I'll put that in in post. See, one day, Microsoft is going to buy Sony and shut all this console war mess down. You ain't got nothing to say about that. Look at you, looking stupid, just standing there with that ugly PS5 controller in your hand. What's gonna happen next year when Halo comes out, huh? When when all your exclusives look like nothing compared to Halo, cause it's about to go kinda... Just because the developer of the game stepped down, or like one of the heads of the development team or whatever the fuck stepped down, uh, because the showcase was disappointing, and just because the showcase was quite disappointing, doesn't mean the game is going to suck ass. I'm quite optimistic for Halo Infinite, actually, because the actual gameplay of Halo Infinite that we saw in the showcase looked fucking amazing, and that looked superb, other than sprinting. I don't like that being in there, but that's, that's part of Halo now. That looks superb, the grappling hook, all the shit. The only problem was that the textures were a bit shit, uh, and of course the brutes looked, uh, like xbox 360 models um but i'm i'm optimistic for the game to be honest could be good could be bad it's coming to pc though so shut the fuck up hello darkness my no. old friend <laughs> no, no i've come no, to talk no, with you no. again <laughs> <laughs> something, something, uh, something. It's the second time I've mentioned it, but Jesus Christ, this shit is fucking cringeworthy. He probably thinks this is actually how, like, the like the Xbox fanboys, which, by the way, they do exist. It's just right now, PlayStation fanboys are more obnoxious. Uh, X, there are Xbox fanboys that act like this, but the fact that he thinks that this is how, like, Xbox gamers think, like how they're gonna, how their brains work, is. Uh, they saw a negative article about Halo Infinite, and they're fucking weeping tears of blood, and, and Jesus is crying, and everything's dead inside. This- th oh, it's fucking stupid. This doesn't prove that the, your shitty fucking console is better than the other shitty fucking console. All it proves is that you're both petty retards. I don't wanna be on this planet anymore. Or that's just crazy. And with that marks the end of his video. Jesus Christ was that cringe. Now, I understand this is, wasn't a serious video. This is clearly a joke video. It's clearly made for the memes. Uh, but that I can still make fun of it. Uh, and I will. I made a 13 minute video making fun of it. Fuck you. Um, now, it was, it, it, there was like one funny moment. I like, there was one bit, the bro guys nigga bit. That was kind of funny. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> But, uh, the rest of the video was just kind of cringe. Not gonna lie. Not very keck. He's- this man is definitely not based or epic. He is a cringe. He is cringe. He-, he this was not a poggers. This was not a poggers moment. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Yes, yeah, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, next video. I'm, I might review hentai. I don't fucking know. I'll do whatever I want. You can't stop me. Uh, leave, fuck, fuck it, you know what? Join my Discord. Leave some video suggestions uh, in the video suggestion thing. Post some links in there to show me some shit that you'd like me to cover. Uh, also, leave a like on the video and subscribe, because why the fuck not? Click the notification bell so you can be in the fucking told when I upload every once in a blue fucking moon. Uh, also, I, I, I don't know. Uh, bye. Uh, I don't know, fuck, I'm not good at ending videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, come back to the chem lab anytime. We have a lot- I have a lot of ketamine to sell you. Like a- like a fuck ton. Okay, bye. Symbols and ancient lore Fashioned fearsome engines of war Those it depends in fear shall adore As it comes to live in nothing but war Nothing can withstand it